So let's take a look at how we can install Active Directory domain services from PowerShell. So I've got my server up here and I'm in PowerShell and what we want is the Add Windows feature. So it's Add-Windows feature and we need the full name of the feature and it's AD-Domain Services and that will add the Windows feature. Now, remember, just like doing this in um, in the GUI, this doesn't actually make it a domain controller. What it does is it gives it the domain controller tools. Now, if you're doing this from PowerShell on a system that includes uh, GUI, like I'm in right now, um, although you can't really see it that much other than the taskbar here at the bottom, um, you'd probably want to do dash include management features, which would add all the management uh all the management tools. Um, so you'd probably want to go ahead and add that in. Now if you're doing this on a core install, you don't need to include that and it's dash management tools, not dash management features. Um, so you'd want to do the dash include management tools if you had a desktop experience system. If you don't have a desktop experience system but you're doing it on a core install, then you don't need that because you're not going to use those management tools anyway. So that doesn't create a problem for you. Now, our installation here is almost complete. There we go. And now if I do a get Windows feature, and I'm going to pipe this to more real quick so we can see this a little bit at a time. This is going to give us all of our features and the display name, and then this right here is going to be the actual name of it. So the one we just did was ad-domain services. And you'll see this check here indicates that that's installed. Now if I wanted to do, let's say, ad certificate services right here, then what I'd do is I'd use this display name, dash ad certificate services. Also notice on domain services, it's checked here. Also over here we see that it says installed, while the rest of them say available. Okay, so I've installed the Active Directory domain services, which is great, but that doesn't make me a domain controller. Now, I want to move up to a domain controller, and the commands we're going to use, let's do a, I'm going to get command here first. Get command install dash ad and then let's do ad asterisk and just find everything and we're going to see a handful of tools here install adds domain install adds domain controller and install adds forest now this one here install adds forest we're going to ignore the service count thing for the moment the install adds forest well that creates an additional forest so if this is going to be our first one that we're installing then that's a tool that we want to use Install ADDS controller promotes this device to a domain controller in an existing domain. And then install ADDS domain creates a new domain inside of an existing forest. So in the GUI, when we uh, promote it to a domain controller, we do the post installation configuration. Um, it gives us choices for what we're going to do in PowerShell since we don't have that. We have to set here. We've got to put in the right command. So I'm going to promote this thing to a domain controller in a new forest. So my command is going to be install ADDS forest. Now I actually have to supply a domain name. And so if we have something that's required, it pops up here and it asks for it. You can also remember get help install ADS forest and this will give you now just give me the basic stuff and this will give you all of the options for it as a brand new system and I haven't installed the uh, additional help yet so that's what this was about so here's your basic install ADS forest you have to have a domain name and then everything else is optional but it lets you set the domain uh, mode, the forest mode, uh, where you're going to specify your database path, all the things you would normally do, you can go ahead and do here just by adding on additional commands to this install ADDS forest. So let's go ahead and promote this install ADDS forest. And I'm going to call this temp.local because I'm going to blow it away here in a few minutes. And hit enter. Let's try this again. Dash domain name 
tab.local. And then we're going to have to put in safe mode administrator password. And this will be configured as a domain controller. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. All right, so we're going to verify our prerequisites. Warning, we know that warning. We've seen that before. And we let this thing run in the background and do our installation for us. So, looks like this thing's going to take a minute, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and then we will pick it up again when, hey, just as I say that, we're just about done. All tests pass successfully. We see the handful of warnings here, which we're used to. So our install new forest is starting. So now let me go ahead and pause this and we will pick it up again after this has completed. Okay, so what happens is it goes through and finishes a uh, promotion and it throws a few more messages. It took about five minutes, uh, maybe a little less, but it throws a few more messages and then it will automatically log you out um, just like uh, doing this, doing the promotion from uh, the GUI, it requires a reboot once the promotion is done. So, um, since we're doing it at PowerShell, it automatically logs us out and restarts um, restarts the server for us. And that's where we're at now. We're sitting here uh, waiting for it to come back up. Just be aware that that is an automatic restart here. So you don't want to do this on a system that's in production and you're doing something else with them. Normally, if you're doing the domain controller promotion, you're either doing it after hours or you're putting in a new server with the idea of it being a domain controller. All right, so here we go. We are just about fully back up and we have installed ADDS and promoted a uh, promoted it to a domain controller, creating a new forest in the process, all from PowerShell.